Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today we'll be making this little card, um, a For You card. It features the stamp set of Elements of Style that's currently in our summer mini. And I got the inspiration from a swap from a fellow demonstrator, um, Judy Boggs. Um, Judy's design has two layers of this technique, but I think once you know how to do it um, with a single layer, um, we could figure out how to do the double layer as well. So let's get started making this card. What we're going to need is, besides the stamp set, is a piece of eight and a half by eleven cards or eight and a half by five and a half cardstock. And then after we um, fold and crease the you know the edges as normal, what I did is I um, you know we need to cut out this diamond flap from our card um, our standard card base. And so I just took a ruler and measured what, um, you know, it's five and a half, so halfway is two and three four, or two and three four, yes, <laughs> two and three fourths. Um, made a little dot on it, and then for the, you know, so I knew where the halfway part was, and then I took my trimmer and trimmed up those two angles so that you have this little almost envelope looking flap to it. Okay. So then the first thing that I want to do is with my dauber, I want to go ahead and ink the edges. Okay, so I'm going to pounce on the Rich Razzleberry. That's my color palette today. And I'm going to go all the way around. And I'll be back after I get some ink on it. Alrighty, so I've got all of the, um, the I guess the diamond point here, or not the diamond, but the triangle point. And I'm going to just with you know, like kind of um, soften up this middle area here. Okay, so I'll go ahead and turn it to face me while I stamp. And I have this flourish image first. And I'm going to go ahead and use Rich Razzleberry again. And line it up and stamp it. And I love the clear mount blocks. For me that's, and the stamp says that, for me that's just perfect. Take the butterfly image and I'll put him hovering up around the top here. And then the for you sentiment that's included with the stamp set. And I put that up here. Okay, so so that's the, the card um, front of it. And in order to get this eyelet trim, um, I measured the sides, and each side is approximately five inches. I've gone ahead and, with our eyelet punch, I've punched out a border. And so, with the back edge of it showing, I'm going to go ahead and put some snail adhesive down. Put a little bit up in the corner, and then um, have enough to anchor it. And the, the trim that I have is, um, you know, it's going to be thin enough where it's not going to cover all of the snail adhesive, but that's okay because our rich Razzleberry cardstock is going to, um, you know, cover up that and we're going to need some more. So I'm going to trim this to get a start of an eyelet. And on the border, what we want to do is line it up so just the eyelet trim is shown from the other side. Oops. So, whoops. Don't have that quite down. There we go. Now it's going to stick enough to show you. So I don't want any of the edges. I just want the eyelet shown. And I'm going to trim off this at an angle for right now. And come in and do the other side. I want to start with the full um, eyelet scallop. And again, this is just with Whisper White. And come in, or go ahead and um, adhere it down so that um, you know that so that the just the eyelet shows. And I'm going to trim up this edge just a little bit here now, um, so that it um, the card lies a little flatter because the cardstock, the um, Rich Razzleberry cardstock piece, needs to be able to be flush right up on there. Okay, so that's our lace edge, and. Let's see, I probably will come and trim one of these this way. There we go. There we have it. Okay. 
I'll play around with that a little bit later on. Okay, so it, um, again, we're, we're just needing um, almost like a card front size here that's going to go up underneath of it. And this is measured at five and a half by four and a quarter. And as you can see on my sample piece here, that um, I've got a little watermarking action going on. So I want to use that same stamp image here. So I've got my, um, oops, yeah, I've got my, well, it's making sure I had it the right size. I've got my Stampin' Scrub to cleaner. We'll get that cleaned off, get some Versamark. Versamark, again, will allow you to, um, it stamps clear, but dries like a watermark. So you get a little darker tone no matter what, um, you know, what palette that you're working with. Okay, and I think what I want to do first is adhere the rich raspberry down before I stamp. Okay, so I'm going to come back in with my snail adhesive and you know, we'll make sure that we get some of these um, eyelet edges to make sure that they stick down real nice and good. And then taking the rich raspberry piece We'll go right up to the fold line. Maybe this will be a little easier. Kind of just tap it and fold it down. Okay. So again, I'm going to now come back in with the Versa mark to make the water marks. And I should have something down because I'm actually stamping off a little bit, but I'll clean up my pad and just after we're done making our, our project here. So I came in this angle on this side and I'll come in the same or the opposite angle on the other side and get our watermark. Okay, I think I just have one last little piece and I went ahead and put another little hummingbird image on the inside of the card just to have another little something when the recipient opens up. So I'll get my hummingbird image again, and we'll stamp it it's kind of straight on down in the corner. And there we have it. And on um, this card here, I put a little Dazzling Diamonds. So you can just take your two-way glue pen and put a couple of um, you know, spots down where you might want a little extra bling on your card. See, let's put something up here and maybe down here. Okay, I'll put some just a little bit of sparkle on it. Oops, I'm not quite sure why I have two spoons in there. Okay. And there's our card. So I hope you have fun playing around with that um, this technique of cutting out um, part of the front flap of your card design, and then um, you know basically adding a, another background layer to your card front. Thanks everybody! Happy crafting! Bye bye.